Okay, so uh, hopefully this is going to be our last video. I'm not getting much in there. Um, anyway, uh, so let's do it. Um, we want the explosion rather than it just exploding straight away. Uh, we don't want that to happen. So we don't want it to actually play. So I'm going to comment that out. Uh, we want it prepared, but instead of playing it, we're going to say explosion. You are invisible. So we say is visible, which is just a prop property of a, any graphical sprite you add. We want to set it to false, so that way we won't be able to see it. So if we do it now, our sprite's actually there. Like, well, the explosion's there, but we couldn't actually see it. So um, yeah, we will bring it to life when there's a collision. So we want to do that inside the. Uh, we've got that on collision function. So this is the code that runs when the when the the jet collides with something. So what we want to say in here is um, there's a little bit of extra setup we've got to do um, well, a few things. So I'll just um, do them one by one. First up, let's go to the jet up here where it's declared. Okay, and we're going to add another variable, and that's jet. This is just one I created. Collided equals false. Oops, false. Meaning the jet hasn't collided with anything yet. Because we're going to run into trouble if we only want the jet to collide once. So, and if we don't include this bit, I'm going to about to do right here. So, just a second if statement. So, if an if jet dot collided equals false. Notice when you do an equals in a comparison, you have to use a double equals because the single equals is a variable assignment. Then, so if, if that's false, then first up, we want to set jet collided equal to true. Let me just copy and paste this. Okay. So we want to set jet dot collided equal to nothing here to true, meaning on collision will only ever run once. We don't, if it'll just start stuffing everything around if we try and let the coll collision event run more than once, basically. So here we want to do a few things. We're actually going to change that, move it somewhere else. So we'll set that to true. We want to say jet dot body type. Now this is part of its um, physics engine thing. And we're going to switch it. So it was dynamic, meaning gravity affects it. We want to make it static. Otherwise, it's just going to um, continue to fall out of the sky. And we're going to call a function then called explode. So whenever there's a collision, first up it's going to check is jet.collided still set to false, meaning it hasn't hit anything yet. If it has, first up it's going to set, set that it's true, meaning, because remember on collision sort of like running all the time, any time a collision's occurring. So we only want it to run once. This will stop it um, from running multiple times because this will never be true after the first time it runs. It was false because we set it to false up when we created it. First up we set it to true, meaning next time this tries to run, this will be false, so we'll never get to this stuff inside. We're going to set the body type to static, because if we don't, if it's dynamic, even though, um, well, basically what will happen is it'll continue to fall out of the sky and cause more collisions. Static will just make it stop dead and won't do anything. Explode is where we're actually going to have an explosion. So it's going to, like, from this, inside this function, we're calling another function. Now, so far, we've seen functions only called attached to events, basically. So, like, things like enter frame or collision or touch. You can just write your own function and call it whenever you want, and that's exactly what we're doing here. So, explode. And um, we don't need to pass in anything. You might think self and event and so on, but we don't need anything there. Okay, once we're in here, what we want to do is um, make some space. And we're going to say, hey, explosion graphic or explosion splite sprite rather, explosion, let's make sure I spell this right, explosion, your x position needs to be equal to wherever the jet was, so the jet's position, and then I'm going to copy that, and paste it, and um, just make that, do the same with the y values, so this is just getting the explosion sprite to the place where the jet was, then we want to say explosion dot uh, your is visible property. We want to set that to true, so we'll see it appear. And then furthermore, we want to say, hey, explosion, because it's a sprite, we want to play it, finally, because it's never played before. And then we want to make the jet disappear. So we want to say jet 
dot is visible equals false. So now we're hi hiding the jet. We'll save that. Okay. Um, so we should notice we've we've taken out the go to the restart screen, but let's just see if the rest of this works. Well, there was a fair bit there. Probably should have tested as we go. That's a lot of instructions to write without testing. But let's just hope. Okay. Um, immediately you're getting a problem. Let's just have a look. Okay. Yeah, look. I think I've actually I haven't ended a function or something like that. Uh, or possibly an, oh yeah, the if statement. That end ends the function. That end ends the first if statement. This one we never ended. Each um, if statement needs its own end. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see. E, hey, not bad. Okay, cool. But now we're just sitting here. So finally, we just need from here, we're going to call one more function called game over. And that is going to actually um, do this line here and take us to the restart screen after the explosion's finished. Now, and here we want to call the game over function. Okay. Um, so. Um, now, one problem here, though, like this, sh like it should work, but we're not going to see the explosion. I've got a feeling. Yeah, see, like we just never got a chance to see the explosion. Um, so what we want to do is, rather than call game over like that, we're going to set up a timer, and the timer means so timer. I'll just type it out. So perform with delay, which, like it says. So we call it. And most instructions, when they're called, they just run instantly, which is what we want. Um, but when we say perform with delay, we can say let's run this. Let's call this function game over. Take out when you call it this way. You don't have those things. Just call it once. That's what the one means. So this means when this line runs, it's going to wait three seconds, three thousand milliseconds, then call game over once, and which will actually call restart. So let's try that. Save it. And um, okay. Oh, well, that works. Yep. Okay. Oh, has it? Yep. Cool. Okay. Great. Um, and okay, great. Yep. So now there's just a little intro part I want to do. So at the moment, everything sort of starts straight away. It'd be nice to have a little intro thing. So and that's pretty easy to add. So all we're going to do is when the jet first appears, uh, we're going to do a couple of things. So I'm scrolling all the way up to where we add the jet. Got our phone call there. Um, alrighty, where were we? We're looking for the jet because we're going to do something here, and that is we're going to make it like appear a little bit. What well, it's going to enter basically, we're going to animate it coming into um, from the left-hand side of the screen. So what we're going to say is um, we're going to create another variable called jet intro, and then we're going to say we're going to create a transition here. So transition. This is another way to get things moving around, is to do a transition. You can just say transition.2, and, um, and then you just say who you want to transition, in this case it's the jet, and then you add some parameters, saying transition it over two seconds, and then we want it to end up, we're going to transition it on the x-axis, so it's going to start at negative 80 and transition over two seconds to the 100 position, and then we're gonna finally we're gonna call a function called jet is ready once this is done. Let's just see though if that animation's gonna work. So here we go. Uh, not too good it's frozen. Um, two fifteen. Oh, hang on, eighty one maybe. Eighty one. All right. Um, what don't you like about that? We need a uh, a comma here. Also, actually, we don't want it to be we want it to be static, so gravity doesn't affect it to begin with. Okay, there we go. So it's cruising in. Now, though, um, notice it's still static, so um, it's not affecting. The collisions aren't working. So let's fix that up. Um, we need to change it to back to dynamic. So we're going to do that in this jet ready function. So. Um, what I'm going to do is 
come down to our functions and then just above activate jets I'll create a function called jet ready and, and then inside here all we need to do uh, is switch the jet so we say jet your body type because we, we just changed it to um, static. We need to switch it back to dynamic so it actually starts working again. And that's all we do there. Um, I think there's this one final little bit, and that is this jet.ready. Um, so, um, oh yeah, I think that's just like. Mm, well, let's just see if this works. We start it. Okay, cruises in. Right, we're going. Okay. Um, something not great happened there. Should have just exploded when it hit the top. So that collision's good. Let's, and let's just check the bottom collision. So if it drops. That's okay. That's good. And then finally, if we go up, hit the top. It's just not recognizing that top bit uh, properly. So, um, let's just have a look. So, sorry, I've moved up to that, um, this bit up here. Let's just try set it to zero, perhaps. And, um, see if that looks a bit better. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Um, great. Um, I think we're done. Um, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Seems to all be going okay. Um, yeah, cool. So, I think that's the whole thing. So, hopefully you're stuck in there. Um, and it's working okay. Oh, hang on. I can see in the background. Maybe other people have noticed. We're not. We've still got this background, like, there's a a still, like there's another one here which I believe is probably from the restart screen, perhaps not uh, let's let's just take a look at why that might be um, I think what we can do is um, if we come into the uh, so I'm going down to the enter um, all the way down to the enter scene, and I think if we do some purge scenes like the old ones, hang on, I'm going to switch to the restart file, grab this, say purge scene, and let's just see if we can't purge everything. So if we purge game, oh, let's just purge everything. So start, and then restart. Let's try that. I'm not sure if this will work, to be honest. No. Okay. <laughs> I think then we definitely don't want that one. Because we're just purging our own um, scene. Okay, we've still got that one stuck at the back there, though. And why isn't it moving? Okay, let's just play it long enough. This one. Oh. I'm going to comment out the collisions. Hang on, not there. Just to test something. So, um, let's go and we'll stop calling the collisions temporarily. Just because I want to test the background scrolling. So we've got that one there. I just wondering why we've got two copies. Because I think the actual parallax is working. We just got this second, well, this one, like, extra city sitting right at the back here. Hmm, yeah, I think the actual scrolling's working. Alright, maybe it's as simple as... Let's have a look. Come up here. City, city... Okay, yeah. That's all it was. I was copied and pasted twice. Great, okay. Cool. Um, oh, hang on, let's bring the collisions back in. So, um, bring that back in. Great. Okay. Cool. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed this.